for a lot of people, it has been more than a year of at home workouts and in front of screens. So if you're looking for new motivation to hit your fitness goals, we have some help. Dr. Rachel Reed is the senior director of health science and research for Orange Theory. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today, Jordan. So excited to hear more about this because this is a huge craze. Orange Theory, my aunt is into it, loves it. It was actually the one thing that really got her to finally stick to something. But there's a survey that was out that said people are really having a hard time finding motivation um, with the pandemic, obviously. So what else did that survey find? Well, first of all, hi to your aunt and thank you so much for your support of Orange Theory. So this survey gave us a lot of insight into consumer behaviors throughout the pandemic and as we round the corner now. And the headline for me is that about 70% of Americans reported that their fitness routines took a really big hit over the last 14 to 16 months, despite the best of intentions. I think we can all agree that COVID was tough on all of us for a lot of reasons and exercise is something that that's reflected in. Now, if we look at the slice of the pie and really look at people who were able to maintain some sort of physical activity behavior, we still have some pretty good takeaways there. So 70% of regular exercisers, so people who've been able to exercise still are missing their pre-COVID routines. Furthermore, about 41% of people are reporting that they are dissatisfied with the amount of physical activity they're getting. Mm -hmm. And 43% of them are telling that they lack motivation to improve their behaviors. I'll be one of those to admit that I was really into working out before the pandemic hit, did some at home workouts for a couple months, and then it just kind of went down, didn't even plateau, it just went down and I have not worked out in a while. So I am struggling with motivation. Uh, I know what I missed not being able to be in a gym, but what, what have you seen that people are missing the most? Yeah, so that motivation, that accountability piece that you're talking mm -hmm. about, Jordan, is something that was reported by so many people who completed the survey as well. I mean, we know that having the coach that knows your name when you show up is going to help you stay more accountable. Consumers also report that they miss the equipment at studios and fitness facilities, right? At home, many people purchased a couple of pieces of equipment, but they by no means have a full blown out gym setting. So people are really missing that community feel and the equipment too. Yeah, and you just don't get as good of a workout when you're doing it from home, right? The gym just brings something out in you. Like you said, just having the people around you and that motivation and the accountability for sure. So for people who didn't exercise much or maybe at all during the pandemic, how do you recommend they get started on an exercise routine now? Yeah, so great question because getting started with an exercise routine is actually the hardest part. So first and foremost, if you're looking to start or really change your exercise routine, touch base with your physician. It's always a great idea to get their opinion ahead mm -hmm. of big changes. Uh, secondly, set up an accountability and support system for yourself. So maybe that is your favorite coach at your local studio. Maybe that's a friend or family member who's going to help you or a workout buddy who's gonna show up with you for workouts. And then it always helps me to plan ahead, right? Inevitably things pop up throughout the week. So every Sunday I sit down and map in my workouts with, mm -hmm. as meetings with myself. That way I know I can show up and be there. Yeah, and you know what my aunt does with Orange Theory, she started checking in on Facebook every single time she went. So that was her accountability. So everyone saw that she was going and she just won like a medal. I don't really say I've never done it. So but they have all these little perks like that to just keep you motivated. So I'm very proud of her too. And she's lost some weight and very excited about it. So what general advice do you have for a workout routine that gives our bodies a good overall workout, but prevents that basement burnout? Yeah, so for many people, it comes down to variety and physical activity enjoyment because evidence suggests that if we find something that we like, that we look forward to, like your aunt with Orange Theory, we're more likely to stick with those behaviors over time. Mm -hmm. Secondly, it's important if you're starting something that you start slow and low. So we wanna make sure we're building up gradually over time and a coach or a fitness professional is gonna be able to help you build out a sustainable plan that's reasonable, that fits in with your lifestyle and becomes something that you really look forward to. That's the thing, you gotta find, everyone's like, well, what do I do? What should I do? What's the best workout for me? The best workout for you is the one that you enjoy doing because you will keep doing it. And I know everyone who has tried Orange Theory that I know, they love it. So where can people get more information? 
So go to our website, it's orangetheory.com. And Jordan, we actually have a special promotion right now. So Ooh. if you do sign up for a membership, you get your first month free. Wow. And so if you can be consistent throughout that, I know you'll be more likely to really start to notice those physical and mental benefits of regular exercise. That's the thing. If you just stick with it, it's all about consistency. And once you start to see any sort of result, that motivation will kick in extra.